entering hospitals wanting to breastfeed, and we are here to support them. So let's hear them for breastfeeding in New York City. We are very honored to have some representatives from the New York City Department of Health here today. Lorraine Boyd is the medical director of the Bureau of Maternal Infant and Reproductive Health been an incredible champion of breastfeeding. Amber Ahmed is the deputy director in the medical director's office, and she's the lead on Latch On New York City. Latch On New York City. And Walter Kowalska, who is the breastfeeding initiative man manager for the Bureau, and Lester Fanner, who's the administrative manager as well for the Bureau. But we are extremely honored and proud to be able to introduce to you our real legislative breastfeeding champion. State Senator Liz Kruger has been an amazing advocate for decades. And because of Liz Kruger, State Senator Liz Kruger, we now have a breastfeeding bill of rights in New York State. to join us today and say a few words about breastfeeding. We are so honored to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and thank you for being here. And I'm so glad to be filled, I don't know, sidewalk with people who know how important it is to breastfeed their babies, how it makes healthier babies, healthier children. It keeps them healthy. It's a win-win. And I am delighted that the mayor's office and the Department of Health have started such an aggressive advocacy public education campaign to support women, to help them breastfeed. Now, you read some stories that people think this is some strange plot and government shouldn't be telling women what to do with their bodies. Well, I'm a proud supporter of women's rights over their bodies on every issue imaginable. But I also know the science is clear. Feed, breastfeeding your baby, if you can, is the best option. We all know that. Apparently a lot of the media still doesn't know it, but we all know it. And we also know that if you leave that hospital after giving birth, but you haven't gotten the support and assistance that many new mommies need, to help them learn how to breastfeed their babies if that hospital ends up stuffing a bottle in their mouth rather than providing lactation support and support to moms who can be a bit overwhelmed after giving birth and trying to breastfeed, then if they leave that hospital before they get the support and help they need, it's going to be almost impossible for them to reverse that decision. So we want to make sure every woman who gives birth knows their options, knows that breastfeeding is the best if possible, and also is given the support that they need so that they can learn to be good breastfeeding moms. For some women, you stick the baby on, it's all magic. And for some women, it's not. And you need the support. So I'm really delighted to see so many peer counselors here today. Because you do an amazing job. You're real women who went through this themselves, learned how to do breastfeeding and support breastfeeding, and who better than you to sit one-on-one -on -one with other brand new mommies and tell them your own stories and give them their own hints and be able to support them to learn how exactly the best case is for them and their babies. So, I wish we didn't have to do this every year, because let's be honest, since the beginning of time, what do we know? There have been breasts, there have been babies, and there's been breastfeeding. And yet we have to be here because there's an industry who actually loses money when you breastfeed. And you know, it's America, everybody wants to have a business plan, but for the record, there's a really good business plan for babies. Mommy's breasts. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Senator. And you know, one thing I need to tell you, this is only the beginning of our plan for today. What we do